Hey guys, I found the Turbo Falcon Mega Sword at Target in Northridge, California. For those of you that follow us on Instagram, you already know. He comes with the RPM Red Ranger key. This is the Super Mega Force Zord Builder version. The Gokaiger Bandai Japan version is a lot different. In Japan, he can't stand up like this. He doesn't have like his own humanoid Megazord mode, so that's kind of cool. Alright, right now we've got him in race car mode, which the RPM Ranger, or any Ranger key, can sit in. Flip him up, but not all the way. Put the key in, into the key slot. Put his arms in. Here you go. There are these wheels down here, and if you press down on it, it'll make that sound that your parents will love. That sound would certainly imply that it winds up, but it doesn't. Not that I can tell, anyway. On the front two wheels, well, these actually do fall down. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Sorry. I'm sure there's some pieces that you'd enjoy sticking on the front here. So. I kind of want these on my car. That would be fun. Right? I'm sure there are plenty of good, ridiculous things you can make with that. Then you can take Legendary Megazord and just stick them in there, kind of like with Red Lion. Also, when the key is not in the car, even if you press down, it's not going to do that. You have to have the key in in order to get that sound out of it. This, you can just kind of snap like that. Wheels come off like that. This piece becomes two pieces. Oh no, I broke it. In the back, we've got the hand. Helmet piece. These fins come off. And then this piece separates like that. And then, you see that we've got thingies, which you can push in to pull out, if that makes sense. You can see how those just go together, just like that. And now he's got feet, and he can kick himself. Hit. And then roll away. Take the hand, and that plugs in like that. Then we take this wheel piece, and you can see how that's going to fit. It just goes in like that. And we've got these pieces. Hold this up. This can kind of bend Then we take the fins, and again, you, you get it. It goes right in the holes, just like that, both sides. We've got his head, and that just plugs in down here. Here's the helmet. You want the black tab up, and then that actually just kind of sits in this little thumb indent like that. Anyway, there he is. And then he has Megazord mode. All right, now let's combine him with the rest of the Zords. Take him apart again. Legendary Megazord, he loses his arms and legs. We need his swords though. Those can go there. Q-Rex, steal his arms. We also don't need his hat anymore. Just like you'd expect, his legs plug in, just like that. We have Legendary Megazord Q-Rex's arms. Big giant hand. We want the black tab back down, and we want the swords in here. They just go in like that. And that just plugs into his head. The fins go back down here on his feet. Follow the wheels. For some reason, it doesn't show this on the instructions, but it does work. They are kind of loose. And the last thing is put these back together. Pull these down. I don't know what happened here. This needs paint or stickers. Anyway, these go up. Still got the detail. I, I just don't know what happened to the color. This plugs into the chest. So for this mode, you need the Legendary Megazord Q-Rex and the Turbo Falcon Megazord. Well, what do you guys think? I really like that he has a Megazord mode. I think the race car looks pretty cool. If nowhere else, he needed something here. He is unfortunately missing quite a bit of detail, so I know some people are going to be unhappy about that. In Japan, it was quite a different story. This thing is huge. Well, here are the boxes. Ugh. Forgotten about how big this is. Look at this. That's a big hand. He's got stickers all over. It says Super Sentai on the wheels and they're detailed. Like this rubber, oh they fold down too. All of them do. It's got more detail up here. More paint here. And these flip up. It's got that nice gold. Wow. How about that? My card ran out, so now I'm trying to remember where I left off. Uh, maybe first we'll look at this in more detail. This is the Japanese version.
this, I think, is just the coolest thing ever. These are the engine soles, or engine cells, depending on what series you watched, that came with the Goanja toys. Same ones. So you could take one of these and put it in there. That goes for any of these. Engine soles are from Goanger or from RPM. They were called engine cells. Goanger, Shinkanger, Goseiger, Gokaiger. So it was already a couple years ago. I think that's really cool that they gave us new old toys for a current season. And then to get the sounds, it's here. So then you can take Gokaio, take his legs off. <laughs> so you get the idea. He has lights and sound through the soles. And they will fit into any of your Goandra toys, if you have any Goandra toys. No, these are not compatible with RPM. RPM just gave us these little plastic thingies that just sort of rattle around in here. It's better than not getting anything at all, but they don't do anything. They're just plastic with a sticker. That's it. I would have thought it was really, really cool if they did do that with these, and these pulled out, and you put the thing in. But I did not expect it, and it's not really the biggest deal. It would have been just cool, because... You know, I, I like the idea of old toys coming back for a new season. You're really not missing much. I mean, these at least have lights and sound. This really, <laughs> this really serves no purpose. It transforms pretty much exactly the same as uh, the American version, even though the American version manages to have a, another Megazord mode. So that, I think, is really cool for the American version. No matter what, it needs more paint and stickers. But other than that, I think they did a really good job with this. Bandai America, Turbo, Falcon, Megazord. Same deal, these go on the feet. Take out his cannon. Really, we just need the Red Ranger without his uh, hat. He gets the arms. So, I mean, it's, it's exactly the same. They really didn't lose anything for transformation. Big giant hand. Lift these flaps up. The American one can do this too, but you don't see anything. It's There's no color at all. It's right here. You can do it, but you wouldn't know if they were up or not. So, but it's there. You can wind up his drill if we'd like to. It goes in there, and then stick his hat on. And there you go. And now, So you can see there's a bit of a size difference. He's got lights and sound, but once it's wound, you can control him from back here. And once again, This is, of course, manual, and he really needs the sticker. Other than that, it's a lot smaller, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. He's also a lot more affordable. Also, somebody had asked me if these guys are compatible. This is from Abba Ranger, also known as Dino Thunder. The answer is yes. However, this likes to pop off on this side. 
Unfortunately, it does not make the drill spin. However, it still can spin because it has a, a button. So it seems like there's a lot of confusion and speculation in the comments based on his name, Turbo Falcon. I'm not really sure why people are confused. We all know that it's the Goandra power in Gokaiger and it's gonna be the RPM power in Power Rangers. But maybe they're trying to represent Turbo a little bit more on the toy line. Uh, I think Jess had mentioned the high stance mode in Turbo. You guys remember the Rescue Megazord, right? Here's a couple Zords from that. So before it went to Megazord mode, each one of these guys, all five, Anyway, these are kind of fun, right? These were the high stance mode rescue zords. They each became kind of like their own humanoid form before they then formed the rescue megazord. So that's kind of the same deal here. He's a car, then he's got high stance mode, and then he has a megazord mode when he combines with other zords. So that's very Power Rangers turbo-ish. But also when he's in car mode, he has the face, just like the Goanger or the RPM zords. So that is an RPM Zord. Oh, for those of you that didn't get my intro, this is actually the child of red and yellow Zords in Japan, in Gokaiger. The, uh, <laughs> apparently the engines can bear children in Goanger. Tommy had a red Zord in Power Rangers Turbo and he also had a Falcon Zord. So maybe the Turbo Falcon is to subconsciously make all the Tommy fans buy this. That could be it. That was a joke. So just so you can get an idea, these are pretty much, they're like exactly the same size, really. I think it's really too bad that you can't get these anymore. And it's also too bad that they weren't Zord Builder yet. These are, well, they're very loose. They just have these little teeny things that plug in. It's like Zord Builder, but they never use these ports again. And they just, this is like, I don't know. It's like one step above knockoff quality, but at the same time, I really like these. He is Zord Builder, so, so he is compatible with all of the Zords going back to Power Rangers 2010. That includes Legacy Dragon Zord, Legacy Megazord, Samurai, Megaforce, Super Megaforce, of course. So here is yet another addition to the kind of long and growing line of Zord Builder toys. So for, especially for kids, this is really great. Um, overall, I think they did a good job on it. It's a pretty good alternative to uh, this big giant thing. I love this, I do, but it is a big giant thing. Wait, before I go, let's try to build this with this. It'd be kind of funny, right? All right, so the hand would sit here. This would come over here. Well, this piece can't separate, but that would be the arms. These kind of go up here, something like that. I, I think it's really cool that they did that. So, you know, it's not another case where it's smaller than Japan and does less things than Japan. It's different and it is smaller, but it actually does something entirely different. And I think it would have been cool if the Japanese version could have done that. Oh, can anybody explain the Silver Morpher craze to me? You guys cannot believe the volume of requests and comments and demands I'm getting for the Silver Morpher. I've never seen anything like it. We've been around for a number of years now on this channel and I, there's nothing that comes anywhere close to this, not the Dragon Dagger, not anything from Comic-Con, not Ranger Keys, not Megazord, Power Morpher, Dragon Zord, nothing. Yes, I know it's out. It was on Amazon. I wasn't fast enough. I did get the Silver Spear. That's coming. It'll be here a uh, couple days. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back soon with many, many, many more videos. All the stuff you want to see, it's all coming. I promise. All right. Good night.